Welcome back to the battle, and we left off after Claydol arrived. Uh, level 35 Claydol, it's flying and a rock type, so I guess um, Claydol will be affected by flying type, but it does not. So let's go to Agron, and the only strategy I've left about now is to bring that Swampert. So without Swampert, we'll probably lose this battle, because Swampert knows water type moves, which is. Okay, Agron will survive. I had to say it, didn't I? Let's go with uh, Swampert and probably heal it up. I'm sorry that I use full restores and all that, but have to win, so use any strategy possible. That's all I can say for my part. So it lost its accuracy, but Earthquake will, has 100 accuracy, so. It will not miss. Metagross is strongest Pokemon, level 58, Psychic and Steel type. If you plan on bringing Blaziken, Blaziken is part fighting type, so it knows Psychic, which is super effective. So, Hyper Beam, Swampert will go down. And uh, Swallow, Swallow has not been a part of this battle, because it's Steel type, so Swallow probably will not have anything to do. So, well, I guess Swallow will go down because um, it'll use. Okay, so which gives us a chance to heal up. I forgot it used um, Hyper Beam, so Meteor Mash will definitely kill it, this thing, and attack Rose, which is a bad thing. Though it has, like, what? One special attack, so. It only has one special attack, I guess, which is Psychic. So Metagross is down and left us with Armaldo. Armaldo is his second strongest Pokemon. And once you knocked out um, uh, Metagross, don't think the problem's over because Armaldo can be a really pain. It, only if you have, like, if you're like me and you have level 61, of course it's gonna be easier because of the level. But Armaldo is is very strong. If you're using Pokemon in mid 50s, like 55, you're definitely never gonna knock it this thing out so you're you're going to if you have proper types but even though you have proper types you're probably gonna have a hard time with this thing so Steven is down kudos to you Terry Steven if unlike me I had a pretty hard time with Cordelia of his and I had some problems with um play doll so I'll, so this was my Pokemon Sapphire walkthrough and uh, let's see you see 122 caught and I guess you're getting the hang of it but it's harder from here anyways we only caught 19 Pokemon out of 200 and uh, 122 so I'm not a Pokemon catcher I guess so anyways now we are in the Hall of Fame, but I really don't care what it's saying, because we beat Elite Four. We were a bit over-leveled, I guess, but we really had a great battle time. We didn't really dominate everybody. We fared off everybody um, easily, except for Sydney, the first member, because he was very low-level. His strongest level was 49 Absol, so you're definitely going to have a good time. So my playtime, 20 hours. ID numbers. 06708 named Terry. Now let's sit through the cre credits. Now, of course, Junichi Masuda is the director and all that. So, this has been my Pokemon Sapphire walkthrough. Stay tuned for more. And there are all my owned Pokemons. So, they show all of your owned Pokemons. And then they show the unowned, I guess. Wait, let me see if they show the owned Pokemon. Yes, they show the owned Pokemon again. These are all your Pokemon. If you have a lot of Pokemon, you're going to have all the Pokemon over here. And I have a Wurmple. So, not in my team, in my um, PC. So, next walkthrough coming up will be a few days later. Uh, it's going to be Pokemon Heart Gold. So, Heart Gold or Soul Silver. I'm probably going to go with Heart Gold because I think that's the only one I have with me right now. So, I hope you enjoyed my Pokemon Sapphire walkthrough. It's been a great time doing this. And um, stay tuned for more. And um, please subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Okay? Until then, goodbye.
so see you guys later